people even call me Sandor Kraut because of my, my, my love and devotion for sauerkraut. Note, note that we use the same word, uh, culture, to describe little communities of bacteria that we use to um, you know, introduce uh, um, um, uh, the cultures from a, from a mature batch of yogurt into fresh milk that we want to turn into yogurt. And we use the same word culture to describe uh, you know, language, literature, science, music, the totality of what we seek to pass on from one generation to the next. When, uh, you know, when immigrants uh, you know, came on the boat over to America, what most of them brought was their food cultures, their sourdoughs, their yogurts. It turns out that most of us eat fermented foods every day, and if you take a walk through a, a gourmet food store, uh, you may start to notice that most of the foods that we consider to be uh, gourmet foods, foods with really uh, strong, memorable flavors, are the products of fermentation. Obviously, beer, wine, all alcoholic beverages come from uh, uh, fermentation. Uh, breads, it's also cheeses, um, it is also uh, many other styles of uh, fermenting grain, cultured milks like yogurt and kefir, it's preserved meats like salamis, pepperonis, pastramis, corned beef, it's even things like uh, chocolate and coffee. Just try fermenting something. On my website wildfermentation.com I have a really basic recipe for uh, sauerkraut. I think that vegetables are a great place to start. It's easy, it's fast, it amounts to chop, 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 add a little bit of salt, pound it down, make sure that liquid comes up above the vegetables because that's, uh, that, that's the protective medium that, that assures that the bacteria, acidifying bacteria will grow uh, rather than ugly molds which, uh, which require oxygen. So, so get, get the cabbage uh, underneath the uh, 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 juices and then uh, you know, just like let, it, let it sit for a few weeks and it's totally delicious.